Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation x square plus x divided by x plus 1 whole square minus 3 equal to 0 where x represents all real numbers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and move this negative 3 on the right hand side and here negative 3 has become positive 3 on the right hand side and here's our next step let's focus on this part we are going to manipulate this one and here in this next step this uh, fraction x could be written as x square and then this uh, denominator x plus 1 could be written as x plus 1 whole square and now we can see that x square and x square is in common between these two terms so therefore we are going to factor out x square and inside the bracket we are going to get 1 plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square equals to 3 on the right hand side. Now let's focus on this whole part inside this bracket and here I have copied it down and here in the next step I have just put this 1 as a x plus 1 whole square divided by x plus 1 whole square so this way we're going to have the same denominator now let's recall this well-known identity a plus b whole square we are going to apply on this one so this could be written as x square plus 2x plus 1 then i'm going to write down this plus 1 as well divided by x plus 1 whole square and here in this next step 1 plus 1 becomes 2 the rest is same now in this next step 2x plus 2 this has 2 is in common so i factored out 2 outside so this becomes 2 times x plus 1 and now i am going to replace this whole thing by this simplified Form. So let me go ahead and write down x square and inside this bracket I can write uh, x square plus 2 times uh, x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square. Now in this next step we are going to split this fraction into two individual fractions x square and plus uh, 2 times x plus 1 and now we can see one of the factors cancels with this x plus 1 so we simply ended up with the x square still outside and inside the bracket is going to be x square divided by x plus 1 whole square one of these factor cancels out so we ended up plus 2 divided by x plus 1 equals to 3 on the right hand side now let's go ahead and distribute this x square inside this bracket so this could be written as then x square whole square divided by x plus 1 whole square plus 2 times x square divided by x plus 1 equals to 3. Now this very first fraction could be written as x square divided by x plus 1 whole square and then plus. Now we can see that this x square divided by x plus 1 and this one they are identical. Therefore let me go ahead and call them y and this one y as well therefore we're going to substitute y equals to x square divided by x plus 1 and our this equation is simply is going to become y square plus 2 times y equals to 3 let's move this 3 on the left hand side and here we can see we got this quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring now let's focus on this part 2y we're going to tweak this one i can write this one as 3y minus y 
And now we can see that y is in common between first these two terms and over here negative 1 is in common. So therefore I can write y times y plus 3 and here negative 1 outside and y plus 3 equal to 0. And now we can see y plus 3 and y plus 3 they are in common. So therefore we can factor that one out. We can write y minus 1 times y plus 3 equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and split these factors. I can write this one y minus 1 equal to 0 and on the other side y plus 3 equal to 0 and here y minus 1 equal to 0 means y equals to 1 but then we know that y equal to x squared divided by x plus 1 that we did the substitution if we compare this y equals to 1 and this one we are going to get x squared divided by x plus 1 equals to 1 and now let's go ahead and make this 1 as a fraction 1 divided by 1 let's go ahead and cross multiply so we can write this one x square equals to x plus 1 let's move everything on the left hand side and here our quadratic equation turns out to be x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0 and we are going to solve it in our next step and now let's focus on this equation y plus 3 equals to 0 so that means y is going to be equal to negative 3 but then we know that y equal to x squared divided by x plus 1 let's go ahead and compare these two equations so we are going to get x squared divided by x plus 1 equals to negative 3 and now we are going to make it a fraction by just putting 1 underneath and we are going to cross multiply so we got another quadratic equation x square plus 3x plus 3 equal to 0 and now we are going to solve both of these quadratic equations in the next step and here's our next step now we are going to solve this quadratic equation over here and we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by quadratic formula and here's the quadratic formula that we will be using and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we can write this thing x equal to minus b is negative 1 plus minus square root of negative 1 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 1 divided by 2 times a is 1 and here if we simplify everything our solution turns out to be x equal to 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now let's go ahead and solve this second quadratic equation which i just put it down over here and now let's recall this quadratic formula and let's focus on this radicand b square minus 4ac and this radicant b square minus 4ac is called discriminant and now let's go ahead and calculate the value of this discriminant b square minus 4ac by just filling in the blanks so therefore we can write b value is 3 so this becomes 3 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 3 and if we simplify our discriminant value turns out to be negative 3 and here's our discriminant table and we can see if our discriminant is a negative number as it turns out to be negative 3 then we have no real solution so no real solution exists for this quadratic equation so therefore we are going to reject this scenario and we are going to accept this one and thus here are our two solutions thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye